What's going on, guys? Tim Doherty. I am uh, in Arnold Arboretum in JP, Jamaica Plain, in Boston, Massachusetts. If you're from somewhere else, Jamaica Plain is an awesome neighborhood. Um, it's actually uh, awesome for a lot of reasons. Very diverse neighborhood with some really cool restaurants and shops. And then on top of that, the crown jewel of the Boston Park system. We call our Boston Park system the Emerald Necklace. A series of parks runs throughout the entire city is the Arnold Arboretum, and that's where I am today. Uh, funded by uh, Harvard uh, University, whatever, that doesn't matter. But there's a couple of reasons why an Arboretum is a really cool place to learn how to identify trees. Number one reason is because Arba, right? Arba read them. You got a bunch of Arbas, a bunch of trees all in one place. So you've got a huge variety. It's a great place to learn because as you start to, you know, learn some features, you can fact check yourself because there's little tags on the bottom of all, all the trees. Those will give you an idea uh, if you're on the right path. But today I want to talk about evergreen trees, your conifers. And the reason I want to start with conifers is because guess what? It is fall in New England and I'm pretty pissed at the deciduous trees right now. I got to pull the leaves out of the gutters. I got to rake up the leaves every time I look at the yard. It's destroyed, right? But either way, let's talk about the conifers, right? This first one behind us, this guy here. Oh, we got a spruce. You can see the white on there? That's a really good identifier of a spruce is when it has that bloom or that white. Uh, and they also have very tight uh, packed bundles of leaves. And we're going to look at the leaves up close in just a second. But also over here, let's go back a little bit. Oh, oh, there we go. These, these guys, those are hemlocks, right? Hemlock is um, a wicked cool tree, always grows packed together uh, for the most part. You won't really see them as pasture trees or trees standing out on their own. Uh, they usually do grow in, in, in groves, which is the case here on the side of this hill in the Arnold Arboretum. We also got some fir trees. There's a fir here. All right. Okay, so we got fir trees, uh, and we got uh, hemlock, and we got spruce. So let's go ahead now, and we're going to take a look at uh, some of these leaves up close. Uh, I'll tell you something, guys. If you want to impress somebody, right, and they're woodsy people, learn how to identify some trees. Think about it this way. Let's let's put it in perspective. You're on a first date, right? What a great place to go for a first date. Go find an arboretum. Go sit in a park. Bring her some coffee not Dunkin' Donuts, bring her like a Mary Lou's coffee, right? Or him, whatever whatever your flavor is, right? And, uh, you know, hang out, point some different trees out and then actually be able to, you know, blow her away with the, with the names of the trees and talking about them a little bit. So trees are cool. They're a fun thing. They're all over the place. They're like people. You can't get away from them, right? So, uh, you know, check out trees. Uh, trees are wicked awesome. And uh, the conifers are, are, are some of my favorite being a New England boy. I love my evergreen trees all right so let's take a look at some of these in depth now we got spruce we got fir and we've got the hemlock all right so we're going to take a look at them so we're able to identify one from the other based on the leaves which is the best way to identify them Okay, guys, so we're getting up close and personal with these trees here. Uh, best way to identify, as we said, year round, see, because the pine cones are going to drop off the trees only in uh, one season. And uh, the bark is a terrible way to identify these trees unless you really know what you're doing because bark is going to have, um, you know, different consistencies, different surfaces throughout its life, right? So bark's are going to always be smooth as the tree is starting to grow and then get kind of gnarly and, and really deep as you get into some of the old growth trees. Um, you're going to see that big, heavy, imposing bark on the trees. So I don't like to use bark to identify trees, uh, not at first and I also don't like to um, uh, use the uh, the pine cones on these conifer uh, uh, trees uh, that are dropping cones uh, so here we go let's take a look at these up close and personal we already talked about the spruce for a quick second it's gonna have a little bit more of a white action going on there uh, that's the bloom on the outside of the outside of the tree helps to uh, as a defense mechanism for a tree so here we go here's one of the leaves 
First thing I want to show you is the sides, right? So you've got white, green, white, green, white, green. And you can roll this in your hand. And that is going to be a good way, right, for you to rule out whether this is a hemlock or a fir or a spruce. A fir and a spruce, you're gonna be able to roll this leaf in your hand very easily, okay? Also, you'll see these racing stripes on the spruce. Let me get it in. Meaning, you've got the white and then you've got, yeah, that's better. You got the white and then you've got the green. They're gonna be packed pretty tight. The white and the green are gonna be almost the same size. Two green stripes, one right, white stripe down the middle. That's your spruce. When we look here, we got a fir. Now these have the racing stripes as well. The racing stripes on these guys almost look the exact same. Also, I can roll this guy around. He doesn't have as many sides, right? The spruce has like four sides. This guy has like three or two, two sides, all right? Well, no, three sides, all right? But with this guy, the best way to identify a fur right? The spruce is easy. It's kind of got a different color. It rolls around real easy. It's going to be look at the branch and the way that the leaves are attached to the branch. If you see here, the leaf is directly attached to the branch by almost like a little, like a little suction cup, right? So that's going to be a great way to identify that you're looking at a fir and not a hemlock or a spruce. Is going to be this little suction cup that's holding everything together. Do you see how the leaves are more spread out? The spruce is going to be a tighter bundle. It's going to roll in your hand easier, and it's going to have this bloom on the outside of it. Okay? When you're looking at your hemlock, which is over here, there's going to be a, a different way of doing this. The hemlock has the racing stripe. It actually has a green line down the middle, and these leaves are flat. They're not rounded. It's a flat leaf. The other thing that's important to look at, hems have stems, okay? That's a good way to remember it. See these brown things? The leaf is not directly attached to the branch. There's a stem that's holding it on. And you can always look at that by seeing the brown. So we got flat leaves on the hemlock. We've got a racing stripe that has green directly down the middle and we got stems that's a hemlock the fur a looser bundle you can roll it around in your hand it's got the racing stripes but it's only got one green stripe down the middle two on the sides and the spruce come on by now you better be able to identify the spruce all right there you go all right, guys, so I had a wicked good time doing this with you. I'm hanging out in the Arboretum, Arnold Arboretum, over here in Jamaica Plain. Jamaica Plain, like I said, got to give it a plug. Come hang out in Jamaica Plain. Come and eat at these restaurants. Some of the best restaurants in the entire city are in JP. They're real people over here. You know what I'm saying? They're not like, you know what I mean? They're real people. This is good stuff. All right, so um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. And I hope you enjoyed your time with me. I enjoyed my time with you. My son told me to tell you, smash the like, there we go. Smash the like button or the subscribe button, whatever, down there, subscribe to the channel, right? I'm gonna do these videos as I can. I'm gonna teach you guys as much as I know, which isn't everything, I'll tell you right now, it isn't everything. I had to study a lot. I, I don't have a degree in ecology or forestry or anything like that. I learned how to do this on my own, really as a challenge, uh, because this is your environment. You live out here, not in the concrete jungle. Uh, if you're not in the concrete jungle, you're out with the trees, you should know a little bit about them, talk to the trees, talk to each other about the trees. They're good things. They're, they're disappearing all over the place. Love them while you can. All right? So let's love the trees. Let's do this together. I'm psyched to be with you guys. Have an awesome day. I'm going to go meet my buddy Mark right over here on Washington Street in Jamaica Plain. Eat some tacos. Munch a little taco action. Let's go! All right. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.